Yo, it's Yuri. We got a huge snowstorm. We are going to test out the real world scenario of this two stage Ego snowblower. My driveway is 20 meters by six meters. We're gonna do half of it because I got three cars parked along the side. We've got about eight inches of super heavy snow. We'll see if we can get through everything in one battery. Maybe if it takes a little more for two batteries and see how well it all performs. Real world, I've been through like three or four snowstorms with this so far and it's been great. The only thing is the battery runs out when you want to keep going, but that's just, there's nothing you can do about it because it's battery. So we'll see how it performs real world. And before I keep going, subscribe if you like home tech reviews from a normal average dude who has a house and is figuring out how to do stuff like lawn stuff and snowblower stuff security camera stuff, you know, just normal stuff like that. Fully charged up. Good amount of snow. All the cars are covered. That's pretty good. This thing is rated to do an 18 car driveway up to eight inches of snow. This snow was super heavy. So this is the thing that people really want to know. How do these snow blowers handle super heavy snow? Uh, I managed to get through the whole one side of my driveway with one battery pack. Okay, with two batteries fully done, we managed to get all of that down to there. So that's uh, 21 meters by six meters and half of that because half of my cars are covered in snow. And this was super heavy snow. What is this, like a foot? It's like a foot of snow. So I think it did pretty good. And we got a bunch of the sidewalk done. So now we're charging the batteries and we'll finish it off. But for electric, this is exactly what my expectations are. So that's two 7.5 amp hour batteries. And what I'm gonna say is, it's good for normal driveways. My driveway, I need to push all the snow down move it to one side. So I actually kind of had to do it like three times for the same amount of driveway. But for a normal driveway, it's absolutely perfect and it works really well. And if I just had a normal size driveway, I could even help my neighbor do his. Because I don't have a normal size driveway, I had to only do mine and then charge the batteries and then do some more to finish off mine. And by that point, all my neighbors were done. So this is not the snowblower if you're trying to help other neighbors and you only have one set of batteries. So my runtime with two fully charged 7.5 amp batteries was from 9 a.m. to 9.41. By that point, my batteries were toast. Then I needed to let them cool down until 10 a.m. And then it took until just before 12 to fully charge back up. Then at that point, I used it from 1250 to 124 because I had to wait for my kid to go to sleep. So I did manage to get all of the stuff cleared off, but that cool down time of like waiting two hours between batteries takes a long time. Like if you really feel that when you're on a roll, you want to just keep snow plowing. If you want to help your neighbors, you want to keep snow plowing, but you can't if you have to worry about your stuff in charge. And then if I wanted to get more batteries right now, in Canada, a 10 amp version of this is 649 Canadian. So I would need two of those to run it all at once with more batteries. And in the USA replacement, 10 amp batteries are 450 each. So I think you really need to add that to the price 
when you're buying one of these Ego Power Plus electric snowblowers because having that second set of battery, if you have a long, long driveway is key. But if you have a small driveway and you don't plan on helping any of your neighbors, I think having the two seven and a half amp batteries that come with it, you'll be absolutely fine and you don't need to add for the extra. It's just if you have like an actual long, long, weird, tricky driveway or if you're planning on like helping all your neighbors and stuff. So using it in the heavy snow. So now that we've got the runtime out of the way, how was it actually using it? It got through pretty much everything. It was tossing heavy snow super far. Everyone's got these like steep snow banks on their driveways and then mine just spread out nicely across my whole front yard. Some of the snow like you couldn't really get under like once it got packed down, I needed to like use a scraper to break it up, but that's just like heavy wet snow. When I did it before, when it was like lighter stuff, it was totally fine. It all got stuck and flattened. I gotta break it up so I can actually get under it. Controlling it was a little tricky because you know you can control the angle of the shoot while driving around. I got used to it pretty easily and I'm pretty good at it now. I'm not, you know, don't mean to brag or anything, well, I'm pretty much an expert. I did teach my wife how to use it. She did not have as much fun, but she was stoked to figure out how to use it. It definitely seemed like a lot of controls for her to figure out, but I feel pretty confident that if she just needed to like plow just the easiest walkway to the house now, she could take care of that fine with the thing if I wasn't home. But like, I kind of really like snow blowing, so I would make sure that I'm home for snowstorm so I can do it. This is like my third or fourth big snowfall with the Ego two-stage snowblower so so far it's been working really really well no regrets because I was able to come into the house not smelling like gasoline my ears didn't hurt from using it and I was able to just hang out with my kid right away and I think that is one of the big selling features and also not having to have gasoline stored in my garage which is really nice because uh, it's just annoying having like gasoline things somewhere and then like if you spill some and then it stinks uh, I'm happy to be all electric. I use electric power for my lawnmower, for my rotary lawnmower, and for my cylindrical lawnmower in the summer. So I'm all battery and on all my power tools too, mostly Ryobi with the Allet cylindrical mower. Then I guess I got the Gardena robot mower too, which is also electric, but uh, that doesn't have swappable batteries. It just plugs into the house and charges on a dock. So in the real world, how good was it? If you're just doing your own driveway, not trying to help out neighbors, and you've got a normal size driveway, perfect. If you got a long driveway, account for buying two more batteries, which, you know, compared to how much the snowblower costs, a lot of that cost is batteries. It actually makes it seem like the snowblower is a pretty good deal at that price. So I would recommend getting two more batteries, which I'm going to order right away for, I guess I'll order it before next season, because there's no point of just buying batteries now and letting them chill. It did handle super heavy snow really, really well, like better than I thought it would. Definitely much better than a single stage, like plastic snow blower, but I think that comes down to having like that nice, good metal auger. Didn't have to use the lights or anything. Uh, the battery power was just as much as I expected to be. Like I wasn't shocked, like I haven't had any like of the battery topple down too much and be like, oh my God, it's dying too quickly. Like it did as much as I thought it could do in the time for an electric snowblower. Like I'm not shocked. Like obviously if I could just pour gas in it and run it nonstop, that would be great. But you know, I don't stink. My clothes don't stink and my ears don't hurt after snow blowing. So that is really good. So do I have any regrets being electric for my snowblower? Do I want to be gas? Honestly, no. In the city, this is perfectly fine. All my neighbors seem to have snow blowers, so I don't need a gas one to like keep going and going and helping all my neighbors. If I did need to help my neighbors, I think even then I would still just buy more batteries so that I could keep using the electric one to go around. And I'm mostly just happy that I don't have a single stage snow blower anymore because that took all day last year when we had that big snowstorm. And with my bad back now, having this two stage snow blower, like zero back pain, zero need to shovel at all. It was just great real world scenario in the city, in Toronto, four or five snowstorms a year that are pretty heavy. That would hurt your back shoveling on a long driveway. No regrets. Love that it's not gas. No regrets that it's not gas. Glad I don't have to have gas hanging around the house and I don't stink and my ears don't hurt when I'm done using it. 
So there you go. Heavy snow, it works great. Watch my other reviews. I do home tech and uh, car reviews on the straight pipes. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe.